Hi, I'm Dr. Rosenberger from Appalachian Spring Dermatology, and today we're talking about one of my most uh, watched videos and articles in our blog post for the year, every year, and that's my sunscreen update. So once a year, every year, I go to the store and look online and see what's available, and then I try to put together a list of uh, sunscreens that I find acceptable, um, which I'm pretty picky, so that makes it hard. Um, I took a picture when I was at Walmart the other day and the section has two sides and there was one side that I would not put anything on that whole side on my body. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, if you want to see tips on um, which ones we recommend and which ones I like, uh, check out our blog post at wbdorm.com. That'll be there all year long for reference for you. But just for a quick rundown, just a quick what to look for. What was I looking for at Walmart? Uh, so we'll use this one by Coppertone as an example. So the first thing I do is not look at this SPF. The first thing I I do is turn it over and look at the active ingredient. So we want the active ingredients just to be zinc or titanium. Now zinc is the best. It has a little broader coverage than titanium, but we want the active ingredients to be zinc only if possible. Uh, titanium is okay as well, but I like zinc. Uh, so that's the first thing I do. I don't look at the SPF, I turn it over, I look at the active ingredients. So if, I don't, if it doesn't have zinc only or zinc and titanium, I set it aside. Uh, next thing, depending on what you're going to be doing, is to look at the water resistance. So this one in particular is 80 minutes water resistance. So if you're going to be sweating or wet in any way, you want to extend that number as far as can. Usually they're either don't have any water resistance or they'll say 40 or 80. Uh, and if you don't want to be putting something on every 40 minutes, try to get the 80. Um, and then the next thing is just to give it a test out. Um, spray it, put it on, see if you like how it smells, feels. If you don't like it, you're not going to use it. And then last, for those who are acne prone, um, you want to make sure that it says non-comedogenic, particularly if you're going to be using it on your face. So those are the quick tips. That's what I'm looking for. And to to learn more, check out our website at wvderm.com.